giant. Get away, Billy. Oh my god. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught in my whole life. That is a Oh my god. That is a freaking beast. That might be uh Oh is a freaking gigantor. Oh I know. You wanna guess? I, I think it's eight, 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 eighty. Ten, twelve. No. Oh my. <laughs> ten, twelve. Ten point one two. Ten point. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh! On a oh swim jig. All right, guys. Just caught my biggest fish ever. Ten point one two on a swim jig. Freaking beast. That's the biggest fish I ever caught. My first ever ten pounder. And time. To let her go. Enjoy. <laughs> Number one. Oh, it's about to suck bad. Why? Wow. Because we're about to catch them. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Darien is Fishing. Today is day two on our trip to Triple D Ranch. It may end up being the second or third video. I'm not sure, but this is. Uh, we had a cold morning, we had a cold wet night last night, so I put the cover on and I wanted to look at the damages that were done. Oh yeah, right there. I bet there's a lot more damage underneath, but that was, uh, that's from a barbed wire fence and a lot of mud. It's actually not near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I'm scared to look underneath, but uh, yeah, we did some beating and banging yesterday, but welcome back to a video. We are, yeah, here on Triple D Ranch. Got a 10 pounder yesterday. Pawpaw caught one, almost seven. And um, learned a lot about the, the lakes yesterday. Got to go fish a bunch of new lakes. Found some cool spots that we want to fish at today. Honestly, today's a different, a completely uh, different weather day. It's not as near as windy. It's not gonna be near as windy. A lot of sun out today, bluebird skies. There was no, there's no clouds in the sky. Yesterday was a ton of clouds. So a completely different day altogether, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the boat cover off, put it in the truck. Then I'm gonna show you guys what I caught fish on yesterday and show you what I hope I can catch them on again today. Then I'll strap the chesty on and we'll go out fishing. Um, also guys, remember if you ever want to come to this place, it's called Triple D Ranch in Alabama. It's a pay to fish place. They've got 13 pretty big lakes. I don't know exactly how, I heard there's 3000 acres of land here. And so they put these lakes like in the bottom of the hollers and they'll dig them out and add a dam and stuff. I know you can't really tell on this video, but make sure if you ever come here, tell them that I sent you, tell them you watch the videos. They, they know me here and they've seen, I've done several videos from this place. And so it'd be really cool. Um, I'd love to just, I was thinking about this last night. It would be so fun to do like a, I'm going to say retreat, but that wouldn't be what it would be. Like if we all just planned a weekend or, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that everyone met here at the same place. They've got, I think, four, like, trailers, like, mobile home type trailers. So, I don't know how many they sleep here at the time. Maybe they might sleep four, um, like, groups. But, you know, it would be cool as crap. I don't know if they would allow us to do it. Maybe even do some tent camping. Like, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. But if you had a camper or something, could you set it up over here and, like, have a bonfire or something? That would be so cool to have, like, a... I don't know, get a couple influencers together and then get just a, whoever the fans wanted to come out. If we, I mean, we could probably fit, I don't know how many boats they let us have or they let have here now. They used to be three or four, but they've like, they've made this place a lot bigger now. So maybe they'll let, I don't know, I, I bet it could hold 10 boats. I don't know if they'd let us have 10, but that'd be really cool. Um, maybe me and Luke Duncan could do it and have several of you guys come out. I haven't talked to Luke about that, but it would be really cool. All right, guys, um, the swim jig I was throwing yesterday was on a a little bit of a custom skirt. I just put it together last week at Lake Eufaula because I didn't have chartreuse or white and chartreuse with me. So I wanted to show you really quickly the kit that I've got. I just put together a Ziploc bag full of packs of skirt material and I bought it all off Tackle Warehouse, fishingskirts.com. It's uh, Boss Outdoors. I just bought a ton of different colors for whatever you might need. And then you've got to buy the collars, buy white ones for a swim jig and black ones for regular jigs. And then you get this tool, the point that goes on the end of it, skirt material. And then once I open these packs up, sometimes it's hard to get the skirts back in there. So I just have a bunch of extra Ziploc bags in this bag as well, so I can easily and properly store it. But I'm gonna show you guys how to use this tool really quickly. So there's the end of it. I'm gonna grab one skirt 
strand of white like that grab a whole pack of white grab a half half a strand or half a thing of like a shad color and then half of chartreuse and lay all these flat so that point goes on and you just slide this rubber collar up it so like that then pull the point back off so your collar's there your tool goes through and then you just attach your skirt material and then pull it all through pull them all through about halfway slide the collar off then pull it back bam and I don't have scissors in here I don't have scissors so I'm going to use this kitchen knife Just like that. And now here's his old swim jig, the pop balls that he's been throwing. And take the skirt material. So this, the material's like you can see it's more on this side, like it's longer over here. So I'm gonna start on that side. So run the hook through that side. And once it's in the water, you make a couple casts, everything will kind of lay down a little bit better, but there you go. That quickly. Now you got a little custom skirt, whatever color you want to make swim jig. Pearl white stroker crawl. And I was telling you about, I've said this in some past videos, but this thing has a lot of action, how it comes out of the pack. But when it's muddy like this, you can pull these legs apart and it gives it even more action. And then that chartreuse and white uh, swim jig I was telling you about. So I'm just gonna thread it on the back, just like so. And that is a perfectly rigged, 10 pound catching swim jig. So now I'm gonna retie it back on and hit the water, but that is a beast catching chartreuse and white, little shad head, six cents divine swim jig. They even got a little rust on the hook, but it'll be all right. Good God, there's fish every, the, throw right there, throw right there. There's fish, it's all shad is what I'm seeing, but there's a bunch of bass. There's a bunch of bass right here. I mean, hundreds of them. Throw straight out in front of me, yeah. There is a thousand fish right here. I'm talking about, this is the most fish I've ever seen. Hey, what are, what are they want here? I bet they want my chatterbait. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. You need to let that sink. They're, they're a little bit deeper. They may want something on bottom. Are they close to the bottom? They're all chasing shad. Number one. It's about to suck bad. Why? Because we're about to catch them. Caught them outside the mouth. Look at that. Hmm. Look at the chain flipping there. Nice. Got him? Yes. Big one? I don't know. He's actually crazy. No, he ain't big. Just the main one. That plug knocker. Oh. Got it. Damn it. Two one, buddy. <laughs> you just put this on here like this. Wrap it back. Yep. Drop it. Yep. And then you should be able to snap your rod one time, it'll pop it right off. Oh, wait. <laughs> Got my trolling motor on 7,000. Oh, 
I'm gonna go. Where did you buy these? Um, I think I got them off Tackle Warehouse. Uh, Chatterbait. Chatterbait. Three or four? Three. Three to one. Three to one. Four to one. Chatterbait's right here. They're feeding on tiny, tiny minnows. Yeah, there's bait, there's both. Those two, there's both. There's a big brush pile right in front of you. Yeah, there is. That's all bait right there. All that flickering around. Yep. But those big dots in the back are. There's a little shad in there. Is there? <laughs> yep. Nobody's still alive. It is still alive. It's crazy. Gorging on Chad. Tied up. You gotta land him first. You gotta land him first. It is not tied up unless he gets in this boat. I doubt it. He might he might come off. Oh he almost came off. Okay, tied up. Tied up. I'm trying to find us a good spot to power pole down that, but I'm not being very successful with it. Got him. Oh, sucks to suck. Hate that for you, man. I really do. I was hoping you were going to go ahead. Yeah, you did, my butt. That one's got shoulders. Um, I don't know. I have, haven't tried it on that. There we go. Five to six. Choked it too. Look at that. Damn it. Provokester. Well, I got more in here. If you brought yours, we go. I don't want to break either one of them off, but I don't want to lose a $15 jackhammer. It's worth risking $1 to save $15. Yeah. Oh, you got to be above it. Don't drop it. Yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and see what's going on back there. Okay. Let these take a little break. A little break, break. <laughs> That's funny. I just caught one, and which tied me and Pop all up six to six. Come on. Oh yeah, this. This ain't no fun trip for us. This is a we're, we're, this is a very serious competition. Yes, you're right. We're going for we're going for quantity today. Our qual uh. It's actually nice today. Very nice today. I know where you're coming from. You're not in the way. I mean, you know. Well, let's just. I mean, if they stop biting for five hours before that, we'll leave. We'll leave. But if they're biting. Am I up? That's a, that's a non-scorable, but... Uh, it's, a, it's a fee. We're, we're going for quality. I mean, quantity. That's what... Oh, look at that. There's more of them with it. Here we go, baby. Oh, sorry, fish. 
<laughs> How many is that? Eight six, come on. Eight six and they're everywhere back here. You got one? I didn't even touch the dang reel on that one. <laughs> ah! Nine six, baby, let's go. Papa just missed one too. Oh, I ain't never seen. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Number 10. That one I reeled up over a stump and watched him eat it off of it. Like I saw him eat it. I saw him too. I think there's more fish over there. There's so many fish. There's a drop off right in front of me. Oh, oh, oh. Pegging. Just, Just another number. Oh, 10, you got. Yeah, ten, ten, ten to eight. Ah. A limb. That's the skinniest fish on this whole lake. This fish is skinny as a piece of paper. This son of a gun right here just hammered it. I never. That's the skinniest fish I've ever caught in my life. Yeah, it is. 11.9 if you get them in. Uh, count it. There's another one. They're, they're all eating it on the paws. That's a good one. They're eating it on the paws. I can watch. Woo! Woo! So. That one's got a uh, freaking largemouth bass disease. Guys, this is extremely important for fishing a jerk bait. Both these last two fish have been sitting on a straight pause and you just watch your line and your line just starts swimming off and you got him. And I'm gonna keep doing that too. That one's all kind of gross. That's 12, 12 to 10. All right, watch right here guys. So I'm seeing a school of fish on a uh, live scope. I'm gonna reel down just a little bit and then hit it a couple times and let it sit. And I'm just watching my line. Got him. Same thing on the pause. I don't know if y'all could see that. I might've set the hook too fast. Right on the pause. Oh, look at him. He's doing the whirly bird because he got pinned into the ground. There's so many fish right here. We haven't even put a dent in them. And I want that bait to sit on slack line. So I'm not touching, I'm just watching my line. And honestly, I need to throw a, uh... there he's got it now. No, he don't either. Yeah, look, that's what got it. <laughs> my jerk bait started swimming off and it was this little bitty shed. I've heard that there's issues with them taking them over there, but I don't know what. Begging. This is a big one. This is a big one. No, they ain't either. Yeah, I know. We'll see if we can figure something out. Yeah, see what you can do to help you. I'll make a few phone calls too. Bye, bro. Well. On his phone call, Papa lost one. Yeah. And I caught one. I know. And that's the place you have the screen? Yep. All them on the screen feed? Yeah.
This sucker hit it five times. That's number 15 for me. Huh. 15 to 11. God, look at all those fish. You see them? Yeah, there is. There's a hole right here. They're all just sitting in that hole. You sucker. Hmm. Got him. Fifteen, twelve. What's well, because they're down at like eight feet. There's so many, and they keep coming. My chest just ran dead. Finally, it's uh, what score? Fifteen, thirteen. Fifteen, thirteen. I'm up two. I mean, we've only been out here probably two hours, but I wanted to quickly show you guys since this video, I don't know, this might be the end of it, and I might go to another video at the second half of the day, I don't know, but I wanted to quickly show you guys since I don't have a chesty right now, what we're catching fish on. So a lot of fish have been caught on ch uh, jackhammer chatterbait with the flush 5.2 as a trailer, makes a really good uh, chatterbait trailer. This is the swim jig I was throwing. I think I've caught one or two fish on it today. That is the uh, six cents divine swim jig with a stroker crawl pearl tails opened up and then y'all saw me catch several on this jerk bait which i was doing the pause with watching them take it that's a six cents unicorn rod uh 10 pound line i believe 10 pound line i don't think that matters at all on this one but uh wabi sabi and then this deeper one um, i was also throwing for for a couple fish maybe like four or five fish the fish were a little bit deeper and so i tied that one on but i have had better luck with this one for whatever reason so anyhow very quick overview of what i've been doing paul also on the jackhammer too caught most of his fish on it and yeah hope you guys are enjoyed that flurry it was very crazy for a second a lot of fish there there's a drop off right here and the water is a little bit cleaner on the drop off side we're seeing them on live scope we're power pulled down back on the flat part it's like four foot we're power pulled down at and then we're just throwing out there to 10-ish feet, and I'll show you the drop-off on live scope. So, uh, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this. So there's the drop-off right here, and we're power pulled down up here, and there's the drop-off, and you can see all the bait fish, but, um, let me see. You can definitely see some bass in there too. There's a ton of fish. You can see them breaking up. There they are. You can see them breaking up the balls of shad and just chasing all over the place. There's a stump down in the middle that we've hung up on a bunch. And there's a couple big ones swimming around the stump. But as you keep panning this thing, sorry for the bad camera, but it's kind of hard to do this with one person. Um, as you pan around, you can definitely see all the bait and all the bass too, breaking them up. So that's what we're targeting. And so far, so good. Hope y'all enjoyed the rest of this video. All right, guys, same Triple D Ranch, new lake. We're headed straight to this drain that we saw yesterday and there was a guy fishing it. So now those people are gone. We're gonna slide up and hopefully be able to get in some of that action. This lake is basically four and five feet all the way across it. And there's brush piles everywhere in all these lakes. It's very, sim they're all very similar, but each one has a couple of different features and different things going on. So we're headed right over there to that drain it appears as if we're going to be able to power pull down well maybe getting a little deeper this is the dam of the other lake that we fished yesterday and it is getting a touch deeper right here we'll see if they're on that chatter wagon again oh, yeah. got him begging no i don't know no he ain't big I don't think. He hit it hard, but... Oh, he's pretty good.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Five pounder, 17, 15. Come on. He's a pretty decent one, fat one, ain't he? Yeah. Went He's to, four and a half, anyhow. Went to a different chatterbait. Huh. That new big, the big blade thing. Oh, big blade. Big blade, huh? What it says. Uh huh. Yep. Feels like it's big too. It is big. On the speed worm? No, on a jerk bait. On a jerk bait? Provoke him. Ooh. Nice one. Heavy sucker too. Do you need some help? No. Nope. Not helping you There we go. Look at that fatty. Come on. Provoke. Yeah, I'll put him on the scale. That's uh, four and a half, I'm gonna say. For that fat oh, guy. I bet he weighs five two is my guess. 5.18. He's heavy. 5.18. Look at that gut. That is a fat, fat gut. All right, time for the release. Oh, soaked me in the face. 17, 15? 17, 15. We caught two on this hole, and Popalls was a four pounder, and mine was a five pounder. Yeah. On the Provoke Wabi Sabi. I'm actually going to take a minute and retie, I think. Got him? He ain't much because he don't know he's hooked or something. He's big. No, he's... These ones are strong over here. Oh god. That counts, oh that counts, that counts, that counts. That counts. You could have you could have butt flipped him. Well, I got in the way. I'll count that one. Okay. I'll, that one's that was a fair catch. That was a penalty on my part. Yeah, 17 18. 18 all? No, no, that's 17 for me. And I thought you caught one. When we left over there. Not be. I thought you were up one when we left over there. Now what? I think it's 18, 17. Years. Okay. Uh, I yeah, know. Well, guys, that's gonna almost wrap up this video. It is 4.58. We said we we're gonna fish till five. So that gives two minutes left for Papa to catch one fish and tie it or two fish and win. And we're at the spot where he caught three at yesterday, back or four, back to back to back yesterday. So I'm gonna keep doing the ending of this video, but I'm not gonna announce a winner until the time strikes. So we got 120 seconds to put Papa on the spot a little bit. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Triple D Ranch is a really special place for everybody who comes here really we catch a ton of fish here it's one of the first places i got really addicted to fishing and you can just catch a lot of fish even when it's tough you still catch above average of what you would catch at home and it's a fun trip to just get away escape work or whatever like anything just come here hang out drink a couple beers if you're old enough if you're not old enough then just catch fish and go to diamond gems diamond gems is uh glover's steak spot that we hit up last night and it was pretty good but we caught a lot of fish today in a couple different flurries as you could tell on the jerk bait chatter bait and that's about it a couple on a swim jig a couple flipping a couple on a lizard but um 
it was a i would say subpar trip for the length of the trip but there was awesome windows inside of it like when we caught the big ones yesterday they both came in flurries then this morning obviously was the craziest flurry i've had in a long time so it was like there was really really good for just small spurts of time versus catching them all throughout the day which honestly I don't mind that. I thought Papa just said that. I don't mind that. So I, I'm, I'm a fan of that. Remember, if y'all go here, so, tell them that you watched the video because a lot of people have watched this video. I'm also going to pop up on the screen. One like cool fishing lesson happened yesterday. Me and Papa fished this pond. There's a drain coming out of it or some water coming running into the lake. Y'all saw that. It's the beginning of the last video. We didn't catch any fish out of this drain, but two actually of my subscribers did catch a lot of fish there and some really, really big ones. I'm gonna pop those up on the screen now. How many fish live in a spot? We fished the heck out of this. Power pulled down, made a bunch of casts to it, and these guys were walking from the bank and caught, I don't remember how many fish, they said 20 or 30 fish from this place, including a couple five pounders and maybe a couple bigger than that. And so it was really cool to see how many different fish are in a place never give up if you're not catching them in a spot sometimes you can go back through a little bit later on if the weather changes or things change you go back through the same spot and catch different fish so anyhow i think that's going to wrap up this video remember if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure you do and if you want anything from six cents i absolutely caught me and papa both did caught a ton of fish today on six cents stuff the trailers the jerk bait stroker crawl was a big player this week so make sure you guys go check out from six cents if you're interested in any of that stuff use the code dc10 Save yourself a little money. And other than that, we're out of here. It's 501. So I won today by one fish. I think 20 to 19 or 19 to 18 or something like that. Unless Pawball catches one off the boat ramp again. So we'll say if he, if he catches one until we get to the trailer, then, he, then it's a tie. But if he catches two before we get to the trailer, it is not a win. Oh, anyhow, also drop a comment down below if you've ever been to Triple D Ranch before. I know I'm actually finding out that a lot of you have just from the comments on Instagram and different things. So drop a comment if you've been here before. And what is your PB? What's your favorite lake? Let's talk about Triple D. I talked about like if we could do a trip and everybody meet here would be, I don't know if that's even possible, but it'd be really cool. But anyhow, we're going to put it on the trailer. I'll see all of you on the next one.